For those of you who are applying for disability and you're over the age of 50, your work history says a lot about you. And that's why I always say long work history and credibility. And this is going to sound weird. And, and I want you to listen when I break it down. When a judge, and I'm looking at it from the standpoint of a judge, when a judge is sitting there evaluating your case, one of the things they're going to pay very close attention to is your credibility. You would be surprised at how far credibility goes with some judges. Because the reality is, is, and this is just being blunt, it's human nature to try to get something for nothing. I'm just trying to be not trying to be stank. You know, if you're a child, what do you prefer? Getting a cookie without doing anything? Or your parents telling you you don't get a cookie unless you clean up your room? Well, I don't want to work. I don't want to clean up my room. I'd rather get the cookie from not doing nothing. It's human nature. We like to do things without, you know, we, we want to get something without having to put any effort into it. And so a lot of times, Social Security judges, when they're making a credibility determination, they're looking at different things to see. To see. They're, they're looking at not only your medical records, they're looking at your testimony, and they're looking at documents in your file and so forth. Sometimes things out there give a good indication of your credibility. Let me give you a good example. Let's say you have been over the, you're, you're sitting here and you're looking at your, your, your earning statements and your earning statements reveals that for all intents and purposes, you have basically been working very consistently for the last 20 to 30 years. I mean, not only consistently, but you're making good money. And then all of a sudden you're applying for disability. The reality is most people will make more money working than they will be from disability. So when you're looking and all of a sudden you've got, and I've had, I've represented, I had a gentleman I represented a few years ago, literally, when I tell you, he his average earnings were going up every year from 30 to 40 to 50 to 60 to 70 thousand dollars. By the time he came to me, his last three incomes were like 80, 75, and 80 thousand dollars a year. Then he had to stop because he had a heart attack halfway through one year, and it, his salary went to 45, and then nothing. Got long term, short long term and short term disability, drew a little bit of unemployment, but that was it. Now, when we were in court, he had a really tough judge. But the judge acknowledged the fact, and he even said the guy said in court, and even the judge acknowledged, you know what? I gotta give some credit to credit you know, credibility to the fact that clearly you were making good money before you stopped. So something traumatic had to have happened, and he acknowledged the fact that something traumatic had to happen. And this is where, it, you know, the guy is sat there in the hearing. I can't tell you the number of times I've had clients who will say, you really think I want to give this little measly, you know, $1,500, $1,600 a month when I was making $60,000, $70,000 a year? So that's why I tell, tell people that you'd be surprised. Your work history says a lot about you. Sometimes it's tough, you know, and listen, things happen in life. You know, nobody can chart, know exactly what your path will be. But, you know, when you're looking at somebody's work history and you see a steady, pattern of work, you could probably presume that if the person had their way, they'd rather be working than trying to apply for disability. It goes a long way towards the credibility. And I'm going to tell you, if you're over the age of 50, you've got a bigger window to look at because you're looking all the way back, like I said, 30 plus years in terms of your work history as a good indication of whether or not this is something you really should be applying for. And this is and this is going to sound funky because people are like, why are they looking at my, they shouldn't have to worry about, um, listen, Credibility goes a long way. Credibility is what gives the court, when if you've got a judge that's trying to give you the benefit of the doubt, when at the end of the day, if they're not totally confident that all the evidence that they have in the file may be you know, leaning in your favor, you know, there's all the other areas of law that they should be relying upon as well in terms of sending you to other doctors, things of that nature. But you would be surprised. I always tell people, judges are not robots. They're not. They're human individuals that are applying the law, reviewing the facts, 
But if you can do certain things and can demonstrate things, or there's something in your fact, uh, something in your fact pattern, or in your case that can give you an added advantage, take advantage of it. And if you've had a long, consistent work history, especially when you're an older applicant, it goes a long way towards your credibility in terms of helping your case. Thank you.